get a good night's sleep? Yeah. Put your hand out like this. <laughs> no, forget it, forget it. Um, uh, advisors, uh, get that white sheet into me. It goes in this magic box here. Um, uh, you know that I like magic. And uh, yesterday I told you that, uh, that I was fired up, okay? You can do that because I don't have hair, okay? I, tell you what I want to do. Tell you what I want to do. No, I know how many people didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I thought so. Here's the deal. We're, they told me that what I have to do is I have to do a wake up thing. So I'm going to teach a song and I need some volunteers to come up here and help me. Okay, you pick, okay, let's, let's have, come on, come on up here on stage, let's go. A couple here. You come on up. Yeah, hands up right there, come on, come on, come on, I need you on stage. Couple more, couple more, let me get. You two right there. I need you two. I need you two. You can come right now. I like it, I like the sky shades. Okay, I need more than that, I need more than that. You two right there. Oh, he's too cool. You, you come on, come on, you, you two, let's go. Hurry up. Get on stage. Hurry, hurry, hurry. How many of you have been to camp? You know Singing in the Rain? What? The song Singing in the Rain? You don't do Singing in the Rain at your camp? Really? Oh, you gotta learn this one. Okay, so I'm gonna teach a song right now. It's called Singing in the Rain. The song's gonna get the blood flowing, so we're ready to go here today before I've got some new magic tricks for you. It goes like this, all right? Uh, the, it goes like this, and I don't sing very well. It goes, Singing in the Rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. Then you get your hands up like this. Hands up, everybody. Now you're rain. You go th three times, you go, shh, 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 woo! Let's do that. Ready, ready? Shh, 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 woo! Shh, 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 woo! Shh, 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 woo! Everybody stand up. Now you guys have to get into this now, okay? Yes. All right. All right, so let's just try the verse store. Before we do the before we do the rain, okay, you guys come on up here. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, all right. So it's singing in the rain, singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling, singing in the rain. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight. Sing. No, no, that's not good enough. Let's go again. Five, six, seven, eight. Singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Woo. Ch just twice, that's it. No, no, just twice. All right, let's go one more time. Five, six, seven, eight, sing in the rain. Just sing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I... Okay, I'm gonna give you an action and you, you repeat it. Thumbs out. No, no, you repeat it. Thumbs out. You can do better than that. Thumbs out. Thumbs out. Wait a second. Good, better? Best. Never let it? Best. So your good is? Better. Better is? Best. Thumbs out. Thumbs sing it in the rain. Just sing it in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I... Thumbs out. Thumbs out. Come on. Thumbs out. Thumbs out. Elbows in. Elbows in. Sing it in the rain. Just sing it in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm. Woo! Woo! Right. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Elbows in. Elbows in. Knees bent. Knees sing it in the rain. Just sing it in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm. Woo! Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Elbows in. Elbows Knees bent. Knees, bent. Knees, together. Knees together. Sing it in the rain. Just sing it in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I... Thumbs up. Elbows in. Knees bent. Knees together. Butt out. Sing it in the rain. 
Just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I. Okay, bring it home now. Bring it home. Thumbs out. Thumbs out. That was it. Knees bent. Knees, bent. Knees, together. Knees together. Butt out. Butt out. Shoulders, back. Shoulders back. Head back. Head back. Tongue out. Tongue out. Give them a hand. Give them a hand. You stay here. I need you. Oh, oh. Go ahead, the rest of it. Stay here. Sit down. What happened? Hear my voice clap once, twice, three times. Everybody say trust. trust. I'm going to show you. I, I, I picked this guy. I, he's got some good spirit, and I got to find everything here. All right. Oh, that goes there. It goes here. Okay. And he's going to help me with a magic trick, but I'm going to trust you. Come on over here. Okay. Uh. And see, trust is a leadership word. You want to have trusted friends. You want to be a trusted person. Sometimes people break your trust. Sometimes people break your trust. And what you have to do is you have to give them some space. I'm not getting religious here with you, but the Lord's Prayer says, uh, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And see, so if someone breaks your trust, you've got to give them a chance to come back. I'm a golfer, and this is killing me because the Masters is on right now. Okay? And I'm going to be listening to it all the way home. My wife and I will watch it all day tomorrow. And see, Tiger Woods, one time, he was way up there. He was way up there. And then he broke our trust. And he went from number one in the world to 150th in the world. And his life was in shambles. You know what he's doing now? He's starting to come back. Little by little. You know where I want Tiger Woods to be? I want him to be back here. And I will forgive him. Because he can make a difference in people's lives. So as a leader, if someone breaks your trust, give them a chance to come back. Don't hold a grudge. So I'm trusting you right now. This is my favorite coffee cup in the world. I've had this for years. We're going to do a trick with it. What's your name? Eli. You don't, don't lean on the... Okay, Eli. Okay, where are you from, Eli? Pittsfield. That's too bad. Okay. No, that's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> anyway, this is my favorite coffee cup. You have to... I'm trusting you, okay? you got to do three simple things, all right? And I'll really listen. Will you? Say pinch. pinch. Okay, say it again. Pinch. You need to pinch the washer. You can't let go of the washer. You need to pinch the washer. Oh, pinch. pinch. Like this? There, good. Okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Eli, now don't break my washer, okay? Okay. All right, so number one is pinch. There's only three things. Number two is yeah. parallel. I think you understand math. This has to be parallel to the stage. Is it parallel now, Eli? Yeah. Straighten it out, man. Okay. Eli? Yeah. This guy understands parallel, okay? Good. Yes. The third thing, shh, the third thing is the number three. When I count to three, you let go. One, two, three. Okay, buddy, my favorite cup. If it breaks, you're in trouble. Okay, now let's, no, let's repeat this again. Say pinch. pinch. Parallel. Parallel. Three. three. Pretty simple, right? Yes. Don't screw up, okay? All right, but I'm really nervous. I have the magic wand, and I know it will work. I'm not so sure about Eli, though, okay? Okay. I, Eli, I love this cup. Okay, all right, here we go. I'm as nervous as you, not gonna lie. Nice like that, Eli. Don't put your finger in the hole. Complete silence. One, two, are you sure you can do this? Are you sure you can do this? We need group support, count to three. Ready, set, go. One, two, three. He didn't let go, we gotta do it again, ready? One, two, three. Eli, you gotta let go, there. <laughs> Hear my voice clap once. How can we miss? We've got group support, we have the magic wand, and Eli knows his job, but if you screw up and my cup breaks, you're in trouble. You understand that? Yeah. Okay, here we go. You're gonna count. Eli's got the pinch going. We got the parallel. We're right here. A little higher, Eli. Go ahead and count, gang. One, two, three. Give Eli a hand. See me afterwards, I got something for you, go ahead. Hear my voice clap once, twice, three times. See, it's, it's kind of a fun trick. There's some science involved in it. It's about the centrifugal force. I can do this a thousand times in a row, 
and it'll never fail. It'll never fail because I live on earth. What happened? What direction was the cup going when I let go? Why? What direction was the washer going? It was going two directions. It was being pulled this way. It has weight, and it creates centrifugal force, and it'll always work. The only time it wouldn't work is if the rope broke. Are you as good as this trick? Do you have friends that are as good as this trick? No, no, this is where you want to be. This is what leaders do. One of the things you have to have with leaders, you have to, you have to count on them. You have to trust them. Everybody say trust. trust. Hear my voice clap once, twice. Okay, a little review from last night. Good, better? Yes. Good, better? Yes. Never let it? Yes. Till your good is? Better. Better is? Yes. I need someone I can make fun of right now. <laughs> Hear my voice clap once, okay. twice. No one likes to make, get, be made fun of. I'm going to take you right there, okay? Come on here. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to show you a magic trick that, that brings to life good, better, best again. But I'm going to ask permission to tease you first. Can I tease you? Yes. I'm not going to do it to make you feel bad. No, okay. okay, but we're going to have some fun with it. Okay. Everyone here will be laughing at you. Is that okay? Yes. Because it's, they're not laughing to make you feel bad. They're laughing because it's part of the whole thing, right? Okay, jump up on stage. Okay, what's your name? Brooke. Brooke, okay, so we're going to make fun of you. Okay. Your job, your job, we've got to get the deck of cards out here. Deck of cards is right there. And this is my magic chalkboard, okay? All right. Okay. So this is my good square. This is my good, my better, my best. This will be your good, better, best. You are chalk girl. Take the chalk. Chalk girl, give me the chalk. Chalk girl, take the chalk. Chalk girl, give, you're like my chalk caddy now, okay? Okay, so hang on to the chalk. All right, I gotta tell you what, I need someone over there. And when I went to Jeff McBride's Magic School, no, I want you in the, hey, you in the red, right there. The, the try make, no, stay there. Stay there. Okay, chalk girl, come on. Okay, I'm gonna read your mind right now. You need to pick a number between one and 100. Look at me. You know, I'm in your head right now, and it's really scary. i got to tell you that right now. Okay, your number, I think, is going to be this one right here. Tell everybody what your number is, nice and loud. I wished I was 55. Does everybody see 55? Come on, Chalk Girl, we're going down here. Come on, Chalk Girl. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I need someone from this side now. Over In the green, stand up right there with the glasses. Look at me. Chalk Girl, you are doing a good job. Probably the best chalk caddy I've ever had. Doesn't she have a great smile? Okay, all right. You need to think of a letter. 26 letters in the alphabet. And I think, look at me. You were too easy. I think you're thinking of this letter right here. Tell everybody what letter you're thinking of. K. Like in kite, right? Does everybody see K? All right, now, chalk girl, we're going to put you to work right now. Here's the deal. I've got this deck of cards here. Okay, you need to stand right there. Hold your finger out like this. Now you're gonna, you, 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 here's the deck of cards. Whenever I, you put your finger in the deck as I ruffle through them, wherever you put your finger, that'll be your card. Ready, set? You gotta get your finger in the deck, kid. All right, let's try it again. Ready, set? I didn't start yet, okay? <laughs> Hear my voice clap once, twice. See, I'm teasing her, and it's kind of fun. You're laughing at her. No, no, no please, there's, talk about the difference. You have all been teased and didn't like it, every one of you, me as well. You've had people laugh at you and you didn't like it. See, my, I, I keep talking about my wife because I love her to death, okay? And we tease each other all the time. We never do it to make each other feel bad. We do it because we're, we're connected. If someone teases you and you don't like it, you send them an eye message. You just simply say, man, I don't like it when you do that. I don't like it when you do that. They can, or you could say, I, I feel bad when you do that. If they continue to tease you, you've got to tell somebody. Because that's bullying. Okay, instead of the finger, just say stop. stop. It's not hard. Stop. Say stop. stop. Like you mean it. Stop. A little bit better. Stop. Okay, I'm going to go through the deck. When you self, that'll be your car. Ready, set? Stop. You didn't get there again. Come on. Ready, set? Stop. I didn't start yet, okay? <laughs> you see the picture? This is okay. Okay, I'm done teasing you. You're a great sport. Go. Okay. <laughs> Take the top card. Don't show me. Don't show me. I gotta, hold on. I've got to get my chalkboard. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. Okay, look at your card. Look at me. 
Oh, I know what this is. You're easy. Okay? Show everybody your card now. Show me your card. Okay, that's the six of clubs. I'll take your card. Give her a hand, you guys. She did a great job. Go ahead, sit down. Hear my voice clap once, twice. Would this not be a good trick if I read his mind and I picked 55? Wouldn't it be good? Because I picked 55, okay? Hey, wouldn't it be better if I read your mind and I picked K? Wouldn't it be better? Because I picked K. Wouldn't it be the best if I picked the six of clubs? Give me a drum roll right now. Drum roll. Come on. No, no. Drum roll. Drum roll. Drum roll. Drum roll. Stop. Six of clubs. Good, better, best. Hear my voice clap once, twice, three times. Raise your hand and ask me how I did that. Ask me how I did it. I did it really well. Thank you. Hear my voice clap once, twice, three times. And magic is a lot of fun, okay? Um, and a student counselor kind of got me with magic, a guy by the name of Rural Room. The whole point is this. A good, better? better. Good, better? better. Never let it? Better. Tell your good is? Better. Better is? Better. And you need to keep saying that and saying that and saying it. Okay, here's the whole point. Here's the whole point. I go to, I don't think they're here. There's a, there's a middle school in, outside of Chicago in Oakland, and it's called Simmons Middle School. And they bring me in every May. And I've, it's like 12 years, okay? I, I get paid for it, too. And I talk to the sixth graders right before summer vacation. And they want to send the message that you continue to learn, you continue to read. And I just love going there. I can't wait to go this May. Last year, I'm talking to sixth graders. Last year, I'm in there setting up and getting ready, and one student walks in. He's a seventh grader. And you know what he did? He presented himself to me. See, if you want to be taken seriously, everybody in this room wants to be respected. Everybody in this room likes to have fun with their friends. But there are times when you've got to step up big, and that's what leaders do. If you want to be respected by me, I know you can act like a kid, but if you want to talk to me and be respected, you've got to look me in the eye and introduce yourself. That young man came up, grabbed my hand, and said hi. Told me his name, and said, Mr. Olson, I came in here to tell you something. I said, what's that? See, now, it's not teacher to student. We're looking at each other like this. Because the way he presented himself. He said, you know, I was in your group last year. I'm in seventh grade now. And I said, yeah, I love coming here. It's so much fun. He said, no, no, I'm coming here to tell you something. I said, what's that? He said, you know that good, better, best thing you teach? I said, yeah, I, 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 I live it. I use it every day. He said, no, no, you need to know this. I have said that every day since then, and I've been on the A-plus honor roll, and I came in here to thank you for it. Everybody say gratitude. gratitude. How do you think I felt? And you don't have to do that. But if he did it just out of the goodness of his heart. But the most important thing is he introduced himself. Come on back up here. Stand right here. We're going to practice some handshakes right now, okay? Hurry up. <laughs> this guy's good. Okay. So I'm going to teach you a handshake. First one is this. I can't remember your name. Eli. Eli. See, what you do is you shake your hand and you look him in the eye like that if you want to be respected. Here's the first one we're going to teach. Eli, hold out your hand like this. Okay, now you're going to introduce yourself. We're going to do the salmon handshake. Salmon handshake like this. Hey, Eli, how you doing? Everybody do a salmon handshake with somebody right now. Salmon handshake. Stop! Hear my voice clap once. Eli, go like this. I'll grab your thumb. Grab my thumb. I'll grab your thumb. Lumberjack, how you doing, Eli? How's it going? Everybody do a lumberjack. Lumberjack. <laughs> Hear my voice clap once. There are websites of handshakes. Eli, go like this. Go like this. Farmer, do a farmer handshake. Hear my voice clap once, twice, three times. See, those are all fun, but there's nothing, stand up a second, will you? There's nothing wrong with, you look me in the eye, and you, what's your name? Allie Harrison. Allie, okay, and what, you're in se what grade? Um, seven. See, right now, he, he's getting my respect. You want respect? You've got to be able to separate when you're just having fun and when you're trying to produce what you need to do. Hear my voice clap once. Twice, three times. 
Um, I want to give you uh, another project that you can do, okay? And uh, this is one I learned, in, and I've used it a lot in my talks and in my workshops I do with teachers. And I got it from YouTube. How many people like YouTube besides me? Tons of great stuff on YouTube. All right. This is called The Lost Generation. And I challenge you to go back and do this in your school. All you need is 13 people. This is a poem that reads two ways. See, I got to tell you something. I hang around with old people. No, they're my friends. I play golf with them. We go out to dinner with them. Guess what? They don't have much good to say about you guys. All you do is text. All you do, you don't listen. You don't work hard. And, and, and let's bring up that slide. Okay, you're going to have to advance it because I don't have a clicker, okay? Okay, this is a famous person said this about you, about youth. Number one, hey, you don't have respect, you, you, you don't have respect for authority. Keep going. You got bad manners. Give us another one. All these things they're saying about you, all you do is text, you don't listen, you don't know how to learn, and then keep going one more. And then this is Socrates, 400 BC. Here's the deal. When I was your age, we had ducktail haircuts, we listened to Elvis Presley, and we were going to hell in a handbasket. And I think we turned out pretty good. Someday you will be saying it about the younger generation. I feel this, though, that we need to somehow bridge that. Uh, the old, my, my friends, I have a problem. Okay, my one foot's with my friends. They don't have good to say, and I got one foot, I get to hang around with you, and I know how good you can be. And I'd like you to bridge it, and there, there's lots of ideas you can do to do that. But this is called The Lost Generation. It's a video that you can remake in your school. And what I did is this. I'm really lucky. I get to go to the Challenge Academy, the Challenge Academy at Fort McCoy in Wisconsin. You have one in Illinois, too. It's at Rantoul. Well, the Challenge Academy is this. If a student is 16 years, 8 months, at least, and they're failing in school, they're the kids that aren't involved, they're the losers, they can volunteer to spend five and a half months at the Challenge Academy and turn their lives around. I, I get to go there four times a year, and I wouldn't miss it for the world. Uh, their, their graduation's coming up, and I, I go there and I just bawl my eyes out, because I see these people who are really the losers in your school, took this five and a half months, committed themselves, and now their lives are going like this. Anyway, so I thought, I'm going to take my Challenge Academy students, and I'm going I'm to get a videographer, and we're going to remake The Lost Generation. So let's bring it up. And this is a poem that reads two ways. Which way do you want it read about you? Go. I am part of a lost generation. And I refuse to believe that. I can change the world. I realize this may come as a shock, but happiness comes from within is a lie. And money will make me happy. So in 30 years, I will tell my children they are not the most important thing in my life. My employer will know that I have my priority straight. Because work is more important than family. I tell you this, once upon a time, family stayed together, but this will not be true in my era. This is a quick fix society. Experts tell me that 30 years from now, I will be celebrating the 10th anniversary of my divorce. I do not concede that I will live in a country of my own making. In the future, environmental destruction will be the norm. No longer can it be said that my peers and I care about this earth. It will be evident that my generation is apathetic and lethargic. It is foolish to presume that there is hope. And all of this will come true unless we reverse it. There is hope. It is foolish to presume that my generation is apathetic and lethargic. It will be evident that my peers and I care about this earth. No longer can it be said that environmental destruction will be the norm. In the future, I will live in a country of my own making. I do not concede that 30 years from now, I will be celebrating the 10th anniversary of my divorce. Experts tell me this is a quick fix society, but this will not be true in my era. Family say together, once upon a time, I tell you this. Family is more important than work. I have my priorities straight because my employer will know that they are not the most important thing in my life. So in 30 years, I will tell my children. Money will make me happy is a lie, and true happiness comes from within. I realize this may be a shock, but I can't change the world. And I refuse to believe that I'm part of a lost generation.
I challenge you, I, I, I know I have at least 20 schools that have put this on YouTube, then you bring it to your school board, or you bring it to your Lions Club. Do those students look like losers to you? No, because they made them a commitment and they changed their lives. Put your hand out like this, because it's not that complicated, okay? All right, hear my voice clap once, <laughs> twice, three times. I gotta see, do you remember the 21 game? Yes. Can you beat me? Yes. Okay, I want you to go beat me your math teacher. Let's try it one more time. Ready, set, go. Two. Five. What did I do? What did I do? Somebody say cheated. cheated. Never let anybody cheat you. Never let him. Let's try it again. Ready, set, go. Two. Three. Five. Six. Eight. Nine. Eleven. Twelve. Fourteen. Fifteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Twenty. And you win every time. Twenty-one when you know that. Right, raise your hand if you played the coin game out there with me. Stand up if you play the coin game. See how many people have played it with me. And then, if you beat me, remain standing, the rest of you sit down. One person beat me. I'm going to use this as an example. I want to play. See, the point is, the reason I could win at that coin game so much, and they volunteered and they won a bracelet from me for trying, is I know how to do it and they don't. It's, it's, it's all about learning. I have knowledge that they don't have, and you can get the knowledge. I'll give you an example. You know how to play rock, paper, scissors? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to play everybody in this room. It's Rochambeau. Put your hand out like this. Uh, a paper covers rock. Scissors, uh, uh, rock smashes scissors. Scissors cuts paper. I'm going to play everybody in this room. Put your hand out. We'll do a trial. Ready? Rochambeau. If you have paper right now, you'd be done. Everybody stand up. If I beat you, you have to sit down. If you tie me or beat me, you remain standing. You know how to play the game, right? Okay, here we go. Ready? Row, sham, bow. Scissors are done right now. Sit down if you're a scissor. Number two, ready? Row, sham, bow. Scissors are done right now. Sit down. Two more. Ready? I got to get you. Ready? Row, sham, bow. Oh, if you're a rock, you got to sit down. Okay, how many people are still in? This is, I'm going to get you guys. Ready? <clears throat> Row, sham, bow, paper are done. I got him, I got him. Everybody stand back up. Hear my voice clap once. Now we're gonna play a game that you can win every time. Same game, I'm doing paper. Row, sham, bow. Second game, I'm doing scissor. Row, sham, bow. Third game, I'm doing rock. Row, sham, bow. Go ahead and sit down. The difference between the first game and the second game or what? What did you do? Why could you win every time? Because you knew what was going on. That's why you live your life. That's why you go to these conferences. You want to learn things that can make a difference. There was at least one student that stayed there. And finally, I had to tell him how to do the game. Where's that student that learned how to do it? Stand up. You learned how to do it, right? Okay, and you won, because you were so persistent, by the way, okay? Is she that way all the time? Okay, go ahead and sit down. Hear my voice clap once, twice, three times. Let me get some stuff here, all right? And I need one more pencil, everything spilled, okay? Okay, here it goes like this. Uh, whoa. Okay. I like metaphors, all right? This is you, or me, or any of us. If we want to be successful, what we have to do in life is we have to open ourselves up. You have to be willing to ask questions to find out how things are going. Someone have a bottle of water there? Can I take your bottle of water? Someone got a bottle of water somewhere? Oh, I got one, that's okay. Then what you want to do is this. You want to fill yourself up. You want to try things. Um, fill yourself up to overflowing. Uh, if you want to be in a play, try out for a play. If you want to go out for a sport, try out. I can't guarantee you're going to make it. But if you don't try, you'll have regrets. All right, there's three things that can get in your way of being successful. Number one is you. There are times when you don't believe in yourself. It happens to everybody. And if you listen to that voice right then, you take a shot at your chance for success. Secondly, other people. Well, that's a dumb idea. Why are you doing that? That's not cool. 
And if you listen to that voice right then, it takes a shot at your chance for success. Thirdly, circumstances. Circumstances. Mom and dad are getting a divorce. My friends aren't talking to me. I don't feel well. We all have good and bad things that happen to us. And if you let them take over, the same thing happens. And if I pull the pencils out, the water leaks out. So what you have to do is you have to make changes. I add this white powder to this. And I mix this up. Okay? Now I want to talk about those three things. You all know who Oprah Winfrey is? Okay, well, she's probably one of the most famous women in the world, obviously. Very, very rich. She used to have a, she started in Chicago, by the way, isn't that right? And that was her first talk show. Oprah Winfrey grew up in Mississippi. And her parents were divorced. And uh, she was abused as a child. Read her life story. She was abused as her child, very badly abused. And so she decided to leave Mississippi and go to Milwaukee and live with her dad. And her dad said, girl, you can live here, but you're going to have to behave. So not only does she behave, she gets a high school degree. Then she got a college degree, and then she applied she, in communication. Then she applied for a job as a weather girl. I believe it was in Cincinnati. And they interview all these people, and they agree that they want to hire. Why wouldn't you hire Oprah Winfrey, right? She just radiates, okay? So they go to her, and they say, Miss Winfrey, we'd like to offer you the job. We've interviewed all these people. We think you're our best choice. We think we should change your name, though. Could we suggest Susie? And in her book, this is what Oprah Winfrey said. She said, she wasn't mean or anything. She just said, please don't be offended. You need to know something. I'm Oprah. If I can't be Oprah, I don't want your job. Why is she successful? Because she believes in herself. When you believe in yourself, great things happen. I did not set out to do this. I was a coach, I was a dad, I, I, I loved my teaching job, I was about 40 years old, and I got involved with student council, and, and, and I go, went to these camps and stuff, and um, I, I taught a certain way, so they had me do a workshop for 15 teachers. And I was really scared, and I did it, and I liked it. Then I did another one, and I liked that too, and then I signed up to do this big teacher conference in Eau Claire. And I'm really nervous, you guys, because I'm going to talk to my peers. I went out to lunch with my best friend, the football coach. He's actually the godfather to, to my youngest son. His name's Davis. And we're having lunch, and I'm going to talk in an hour. And he's going through the book, and he saw my picture. He said, oh, you're doing a workshop, huh? I said, yeah, yeah. He said, now he's going to tease me. Hey, workshop, huh? Big man. Woo, workshop, workshop, woo, woo. And he was teasing me, and then he patted me on the head and said, I probably won't make it, and he left. Let me tell you what my confidence did. It went like this. I'll never forget, I got up from that table. I'm going to talk in an hour in this room. I went to the room, my name's on the door, and I started to write cancel. Along comes Barb, Barb Swan. She's the, in the office next to me. She's my best friend in education, and she's coming to my workshop. She said, what are you doing? I said, Barb, I'm not going to do this. I'm way too scared. I can't do it. She said, ha, ha, ha. oh, yes, you are. Not only are you going to do it, you're going to be good. What is this? Be a man. Buck up. Get your butt in there. I'm going to sit in the front row. I will not let you not do this. If Barb Swant doesn't come along right now, I'm not here today. I don't get to talk to a million and a half people. I don't get to write two books and sell 50,000 copies. I don't get to play games with you out in the hall and have fun at my age. You've got to have people that believe in you, and you've got to believe in people, because when you do, great things happen. Then circumstances. If things aren't going well, find somebody to talk to. Go for a run, because this is where you want to be. Rock solid, ready to take on the world. Um, I started out today talking about getting fired up, okay? I was talking about getting fired up. And what I know is, in life you want to try things. So I see a lot of people, you should start and stop, start and stop, start and stop, like a lighter. It's okay to start and stop if you're testing things out. It's not okay if you're trying to be your friend. I just read a book called Be Yourself, Everyone Else Has Already Taken. You can't be your friend. You need to be like a candle. That candle's got one wick. You need to light your fire. Find out what you're good at. Light your fire and go and go and go. This, I'll only do this once, so you've got to watch. This piece of cotton right here is a bad day. I can take this piece of cotton. I can mold it. I can put it away. I can give it to my friend there. I can deal with bad days. Find someone to talk to. If, in fact, 
You handle the bad days. Light your fire and really get going. And only do this once, and bad days are nothing but smoke, okay? See, the cotton's gone. Bad days will be gone, and you get to keep going and going and going. Hear my voice clap once, twice, three times. Good, better. Good, better. Never let it. So your good is, better is, and, and, and this is what you have to do. You need to have friends like Barb. Be that like that. Hear my voice clap once, twice. Hey, can we cue up uh, um, Sweet Caroline one more time? Stand up. Here we go. Come on, let's go. This is, we'll end this, and then you're going to go to your workshops. All right, get ready. I want to hear you. Some people come on stage with me, okay? Come on, come on, come on. Somebody come on up here. I don't want to be by myself. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. We can have some people here, too. All right, here we go. Here we go. Get the beat. Get the beat. Come on, let's go. Come on. Where it began. Where it began. Where it began. I can't begin to know it. I can't begin to know it. But I know it's growing strong. I know it's growing strong. It wasn't the spring. It wasn't the spring. It wasn't the spring. Then spring became the summer. Then spring became the summer. Who to believe you'd come along? Hands up. Here we go. Okay, hands. Good job. Touching hands. Uh, touching me? Touching me. Touching you. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Sweet Caroline. Uh, uh, uh. Good times never seem so. Okay, you know the drill. It's good, better, best. Good's not good enough. You gotta keep getting better so you can be your best. Good, better. Best. No, good, better. Best. Never let it. Best. So your good is? Better. Better is? Best. Hurting runs off my shoulder. Hurting runs off my shoulder. How can I hurt when holding you? Okay, now we say warm. Say warm. Warm. Touching warm. Touching you know warm. the drill. Reaching out. Touching me. Touching you. Here we go. Here we go. Sweet Caroline. Good times never see. Twenty-one game, one time. Let's go. Ready? Two, no, everybody. Two, Three, five, six, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen. 20, Put your hand out like this. Sweet Caroline. Good times never seem so good. So good. So good. So good. Sweet Caroline. I believe never Okay, go ahead and sit down. Hear my voice clap once, twice, three times. Um, and, and advisors, would you talk about this a little bit too? Uh, magic, I'm going to teach some magic tricks in my workshop. The thing with the cotton, do not try that at home. <laughs> First of all, it's, it's a magician's cotton. It's specially treated. You can't do it with regular cotton. I don't want you burning your house down. <laughs> so if you have questions of me, you can email me anytime. But advisors, talk about that a little bit, OK? I don't want to be responsible for burning their house down. Hey, you've got. Some district meetings, you've got some workshops. 
we got a day to put in here, about five hours, and I want, I want it to go really well for you. So let's do soft and polite, good, better, best, and we're going to take over and do a good job, right? Shh. Good, better. Never let it. Do your good is. Better is. Thanks for listening. You guys are awesome.